Today I'm going to show you how to make stuffed chicken breasts that are full of good for you ingredients like spinach, lemon, and garlic. And I'm going to amp up the flavor with chopped salami. So before we started the video, I went ahead and cooked off about half a pound or so of fresh spinach. I've squeezed out the moisture and I've chopped it. And now I'm just gonna mix in all of the rest of the ingredients for my filling. When you're zesting a lemon or an orange or a grapefruit, you wanna make sure that all you're getting is the top surface of the skin. So you're extracting all those oils and the aroma. If you get down into the white part, it just gets bitter. So when I was developing this recipe, I wanted to amp up the flavor of the stuffing so that when you cut in to that chicken roulade, there's really kind of a wonderful, uh, just really savory surprise inside. So I am adding this Volpe salami. It's going to add a hit of kind of wonderful, salty garlic pungency to my spinach stuffing. With this type of a stuffing, you could use really a lot of different varieties of cheese, but I have chosen to use this mascarpone or mascarpone because it is lighter than cream cheese and I don't want it to be the type of cheese that's stringy like a mozzarella. So I'm just gonna add this gradually until I get to that creamy, rich consistency that I'm looking for. There you go. Ah, oh, that looks so good. So I'm gonna set this aside now, and I'm gonna go ahead and pound the heck out of these chicken breasts until they're about one eighth of an inch thick. So I just set the pounded chicken breast with the smooth side down on my cutting board, sprinkle with a little bit of salt and pepper, and then take a quarter of my filling, and you just press it in place. Then you just roll it up, try to make it relatively tight, again, because you don't want that filling to fall out while we're cooking. And then I'm just going to tie twine three times and then one time across. This is really easy for anyone who can tie a bow. Now I'm going to make a really simple pan sauce. All of the wonderful bits and fat that are left in this pan are full of flavor. So I'm just going to deglaze with a little bit of white wine, some chicken stock, and some lemon juice. I'm just gonna let everything kind of cook down and just get a little bit syrupy, and then I'm gonna serve everything up. So now I'm slicing the chicken so that you can see how beautifully the spinach is just kind of worked into the interior of the breast. And that means all that flavor is in the chicken too. By incorporating all of those intense flavors into the filling for this chicken, this is not a dull, dry chicken breast. This is something that you could proudly serve at a dinner party or just tuck into on a weeknight because the recipe is simple and quick. So the entire thing, all of the instructions are right here on this site. Thank you for joining me and I will see you next time.